Electronic Fuses Explanation Electronic fuses, also known as resettable fuses, polyfuses, or PTCs, positive temperature coefficient thermistors, are devices used in electronic circuits to provide overcurrent protection. Unlike traditional fuses, electronic fuses do not require replacement after they blow. Instead, they automatically reset themselves after the overcurrent condition is removed, allowing the circuit to return to normal operation without needing a manual replacement. Here's how electronic fuses work and some of their key features. The operating principle of electronic fuses, also known as resettable fuses or PTC, positive temperature coefficient, thermistors, revolves around the unique electrical behavior of materials with a positive temperature coefficient of resistance. Unlike traditional fuses that permanently open the circuit when subjected to overcurrent, electronic fuses use a reversible mechanism that allows them to automatically reset after the overcurrent condition is removed. Here's how the operating principle of electronic fuses works. Material behavior, electronic fuses are made from PTC thermistors, which are materials that exhibit a positive temperature coefficient of resistance. This means that as the temperature of the PTC thermistor increases, its electrical resistance also increases. Low resistance state, under normal operating conditions, when the current flowing through the electronic fuse is within the safe range, the PTC thermistor has a relatively low resistance. This allows current to flow through the circuit with minimal impedance. Overcurrent condition, when an overcurrent event occurs, such as a short circuit or excessive load, the current passing through the electronic fuse increases significantly. As the current rises, the PTC thermistor heats up due to the power dissipation caused by the higher current passing through its resistive element. Resistance increase, as the PTC thermistor heats up, its resistance starts to rise rapidly. This increase in resistance limits the amount of current that can flow through the circuit. The PTC thermistor effectively acts as a self-regulating resistor that hinders the passage of excessive current. Current limitation, the rise in resistance limits the current to a safe level, protecting the circuit and connected components from damage due to overcurrent conditions. Automatic reset, once the overcurrent condition is removed and the circuit returns to normal operating conditions, the PTC thermistor starts to cool down. As it cools down, its resistance decreases, allowing current to flow more freely again. Return to normal operation, the automatic reset feature of electronic fuses means that once the overcurrent event is resolved and the PTC thermistor has cooled down sufficiently, the circuit can resume normal operation without the need for manual intervention. The unique property of PTC thermistors to increase their resistance in response to heat is the key to the operation of electronic fuses. This reversible behavior allows electronic fuses to offer overcurrent protection without the need for replacement after a single use. However, it's important to note that electronic fuses might have limitations in terms of their response time and maximum current carrying capacity, which should be considered when selecting them for specific applications. The blow and reset characteristics of electronic fuses, also known as resettable fuses or PTC thermistors, Describe how these devices respond to overcurrent conditions and how they return to their normal state once the overcurrent event is resolved. Unlike traditional fuses that permanently blow, i.e., open the circuit, when subjected to overcurrent, electronic fuses use a reversible mechanism that allows them to blow temporarily and then reset automatically when the overcurrent condition is removed. Here's how the blow and reset characteristics of electronic fuses work. Blow, response to overcurrent. Normal state, under normal operating conditions, the PTC thermistor in the electronic fuse is in a low resistance state, allowing current to flow through the circuit without significant impedance. Overcurrent occurs, when an overcurrent event occurs, such as a short circuit or excessive current draw, the current passing through the PTC thermistor increases significantly. Heating of PTC thermistor, the higher current passing through the PTC thermistor causes it to heat up. As the thermistor heats up, its resistance starts to rise. Resistance increase, as the PTC thermistor's resistance increases due to the temperature rise, it acts as a self-regulating resistor, limiting the current flow through the circuit. 
This effectively protects the circuit and connected components from the damaging effects of overcurrent. Reset, recovery after overcurrent. Overcurrent resolves, once the cause of the overcurrent is removed, the circuit returns to normal operating conditions. Cooling of PTC thermistor, as the PTC thermistor cools down, its resistance starts to decrease. Resetting resistance, the decreasing resistance of the PTC thermistor allows current to flow more freely through the circuit again. Automatic restoration, as the PTC thermistor continues to cool down, its resistance eventually reaches a low value similar to its initial state under normal operating conditions. Normal operation, with the PTC thermistor's resistance restored to a low level, the circuit can resume its normal operation. The electronic fuse is now reset and ready to protect against the next overcurrent event. The blow and reset characteristics of electronic fuses make them suitable for applications where repeated protection against overcurrent events is required. Their ability to automatically reset after the removal of the overcurrent condition can help reduce downtime and maintenance efforts compared to traditional fuses that require manual replacement. However, it's important to consider factors such as the response time and maximum current carrying capacity of electronic fuses when choosing them for specific applications. Automatic reset refers to the ability of a protective device, such as a fuse or circuit breaker, to return to its normal operating state without requiring manual intervention after it has tripped or blown due to an overcurrent or fault condition. Automatic reset is a valuable feature in applications where the temporary interruption of the circuit's operation is undesirable or where a continuous supply of power is essential. In the context of fuses, there are traditional fuses and electronic fuses that offer automatic reset capabilities. Traditional fuses, most traditional fuses are one-time use devices. When subjected to an overcurrent event that exceeds their rating, they blow, open the circuit, and must be physically replaced to restore the circuit's functionality. They do not have automatic reset capabilities. Electronic fuses, resettable fuses Electronic fuses, often based on PTC thermistors, offer automatic reset features. When these fuses experience an overcurrent event, their resistance increases, limiting the current flow through the circuit. After the overcurrent condition is removed, these fuses automatically reset themselves by gradually reducing their resistance as they cool down. Once the resistance returns to a safe level, the circuit resumes normal operation without requiring manual replacement. Applications where automatic reset can be advantageous include Consumer electronics, devices that need to maintain uninterrupted operation, such as computers, routers, and home entertainment systems, benefit from automatic reset capabilities to minimize downtime. Automotive, automotive electronics can experience transient overcurrent events due to various factors. Automatic resettable fuses can help ensure continuous operation of vehicle systems. Industrial controls, in industrial applications, where production continuity is crucial, automatic resettable fuses can help reduce system downtime and the need for manual intervention. Low power circuits, electronic fuses are commonly used in low power circuits, such as those in battery powered devices, where rapid replacement of traditional fuses might be inconvenient or not practical. It's important to note that while automatic resettable fuses provide advantages in terms of convenience and reduced downtime, they might have limitations in terms of their response time, maximum current carrying capacity, and specific application requirements. Careful consideration should be given to the application's needs and the fuse's characteristics before choosing between traditional fuses and automatic resettable fuses. Response time, also referred to as trip time or blow time, is a critical parameter that defines how quickly a protective device, such as a fuse or circuit breaker, reacts to an overcurrent or fault condition. It indicates the time it takes for the device to trip or open the circuit after the current exceeds a certain threshold. The response time is an important factor in ensuring effective protection for electrical circuits and equipment. Here's how response time works and why it's important. Overcurrent detection When an overcurrent event occurs in a circuit, such as a short circuit or excessive current draw, the protective device needs to respond quickly to prevent damage to the circuit components and equipment. Response mechanism 
The response time of a protective device depends on its design and operating characteristics. Different types of fuses and circuit breakers have varying response times. Fast acting, fast acting fuses or circuit breakers have a very short response time. They can trip within milliseconds to a few cycles of the AC waveform when subjected to overcurrents. These devices are used to provide rapid protection against short circuits and other severe faults. Time delay, time delay fuses or circuit breakers have a longer response time compared to fast acting devices. This delay allows them to tolerate temporary overcurrents, such as those caused by motor starting currents or in rush currents. Time delay devices provide a balance between protection and allowing normal current fluctuations. Application considerations The choice of response time depends on the application's requirements. For example, in circuits with sensitive electronic components, fast acting devices might be necessary to prevent component damage. In other cases, where in rush currents are common, time delay devices might be more appropriate. Coordinated protection in complex electrical systems, it's essential to coordinate the response times of different protective devices. This coordination ensures that the device closest to the fault responds quickly while allowing upstream devices to handle less severe faults without unnecessary tripping. Critical equipment response time becomes particularly important in applications where the equipment's safety or functionality is time sensitive, such as in medical devices, aerospace systems, and industrial processes. Choosing the right response time for a protective device involves understanding the nature of the circuit, the type of equipment being protected, and the potential fault scenarios. Balancing the need for rapid protection against overcurrents with the desire to avoid unnecessary disruptions to normal operation is crucial. It's important to consult device specifications, guidelines, and professionals when selecting protective devices to ensure effective protection for the specific application. Applications Electronic fuses, also known as resettable fuses or PTC, positive temperature coefficient, thermistors, find applications in a wide range of electronic circuits and devices. Their ability to provide overcurrent protection while offering automatic reset capabilities makes them suitable for various scenarios where repeated protection and minimal downtime are important. Here are some common applications of electronic fuses. Consumer electronics, electronic fuses are often used in devices such as computers, routers, televisions, audio systems, and gaming consoles. Their automatic reset feature helps maintain uninterrupted operation and reduces the need for manual intervention. Power supplies, electronic fuses protect power supplies and voltage regulators from overcurrent events. They ensure the stability and reliability of power distribution within electronic systems. Battery-powered devices, portable electronics such as smartphones, tablets, and handheld devices benefit from electronic fuses to safeguard against overcurrents that might occur due to short circuits or battery-related issues. Industrial controls, industrial automation systems, motor control circuits, and control panels utilize electronic fuses to protect sensitive electronic components from damage caused by overcurrents or faults. Automotive electronics, in vehicles, electronic fuses protect automotive electronics, such as infotainment systems, control units, sensors, and lighting circuits, from overcurrent events that can result from various driving conditions. Medical equipment, many medical devices, such as diagnostic equipment, monitoring systems, and patient care devices, require reliable overcurrent protection to ensure the safety and functionality of critical equipment. Telecommunications. Telecommunication equipment, including network switches, routers, and communication devices, relies on electronic fuses to prevent disruptions caused by overcurrent events. LED lighting, electronic fuses protect LED lighting systems from overcurrents that can occur due to voltage fluctuations or short circuits, ensuring the longevity and reliability of lighting solutions. Control panels, electronic fuses are used in control panels and electrical distribution boards to protect circuits and equipment from overcurrents that might result from wiring faults or component failures. Industrial sensors, sensors used in industrial applications, such as temperature sensors and pressure sensors, benefit from electronic fuses to prevent damage due to transient overcurrents. 
Aerospace and defense, electronic fuses are employed in avionics, communication systems, and defense electronics to ensure the safety and reliability of critical systems. Security systems, security cameras, access control systems, and alarm systems use electronic fuses to protect against overcurrents that can result from power surges or faults. Electronic fuses offer the advantage of automatic reset after overcurrent events, reducing downtime and minimizing maintenance efforts compared to traditional fuses. However, they might have limitations in terms of response time and maximum current carrying capacity, so careful consideration of their suitability for specific applications is essential. Advantages Electronic fuses, also known as resettable fuses or PTC, Positive temperature coefficient, thermistors, offer several advantages compared to traditional fuses in certain applications. These advantages stem from their unique characteristics and automatic reset capabilities. Here are some of the key advantages of electronic fuses. Automatic reset, one of the most significant advantages of electronic fuses is their ability to automatically reset after an overcurrent event is resolved. This feature eliminates the need for manual replacement, reducing downtime and maintenance efforts. Reduced downtime, electronic fuses contribute to reduced downtime in applications where uninterrupted operation is crucial. They quickly restore the circuit to normal operation once the overcurrent condition is removed, leading to improved system availability. Longer service life, electronic fuses can withstand multiple overcurrent events without needing replacement which contributes to their longer service life compared to traditional fuses that blow and require manual replacement after a single use. Convenience, the automatic reset feature eliminates the need for users or maintenance personnel to identify blown fuses and replace them, simplifying maintenance procedures. Cost savings, the longer service life and reduced need for replacement can result in cost savings over the lifetime of the electronic fuse especially in applications where frequent overcurrent events are likely to occur. Rapid recovery, electronic fuses quickly recover and restore circuit functionality after overcurrent events, minimizing disruptions to equipment operation. Reduced inventory, with traditional fuses, a supply of replacement fuses must be kept on hand. Electronic fuses eliminate the need for spare fuses in many cases, reducing inventory requirements. Flexibility, electronic fuses can handle temporary overcurrent conditions without tripping, which is particularly useful in applications within rush currents or startup sequences that involve higher than normal currents. Consistent protection, the response characteristics of electronic fuses remain relatively consistent over their service life, providing reliable protection for the circuit and connected components. Customization, electronic fuses can be designed with specific trip currents and voltage ratings to match the requirements of different applications, ensuring tailored protection. Safety, the ability to provide overcurrent protection without posing hazards due to blown fuses and exposed metal elements increases overall safety. Environmental considerations, electronic fuses longer service life and reduced waste from spent fuses align with environmentally friendly practices. It's important to note that while electronic fuses offer these advantages, they might have limitations in terms of their response time, maximum current carrying capacity, and specific application requirements. Careful consideration of the application's needs and the fuse's characteristics is essential when deciding whether electronic fuses are the best choice for a particular scenario. Limitations While electronic fuses, also known as resettable fuses or PTC, positive temperature coefficient, thermistors, offer various advantages, they also have certain limitations that need to be considered when selecting them for specific applications. Here are some of the key limitations of electronic fuses. Response time, electronic fuses typically have slower response times compared to traditional fast-acting fuses. This slower response might not be suitable for applications that require rapid protection against short circuits or other severe overcurrent events. Limited maximum current, electronic fuses have limitations on their maximum current carrying capacity. They might not be suitable for applications with very high current levels or fault currents that exceed their capabilities. Limited voltage ratings, electronic fuses have voltage ratings that might not be suitable for high voltage applications. 
Traditional fuses can handle higher voltage levels than many electronic fuses. Sensitivity to ambient temperature. The resistance of PTC thermistors in electronic fuses is affected by temperature. In high temperature environments, the response of the electronic fuse might be altered, impacting its effectiveness. Limited number of trips, while electronic fuses can withstand multiple overcurrent events, they are not unlimited in their reset capabilities. Excessive and repeated overcurrent events can eventually lead to degradation of the PTC thermistor, affecting its performance. Voltage drop, electronic fuses introduce a small voltage drop across their PTC thermistors due to the increased resistance during overcurrent conditions. In low voltage circuits, this voltage drop might impact system performance. Application specificity, electronic fuses are best suited for applications where their automatic reset feature is advantageous. However, for applications where traditional fast-acting fuses are more appropriate, electronic fuses might not provide optimal protection. Coordinated protection, coordinating the response characteristics of electronic fuses with other protective devices can be challenging. In complex systems, ensuring proper coordination might require careful analysis. Reset time. The reset time of electronic fuses can vary based on factors such as ambient temperature and the severity of the overcurrent event. In some cases, the reset time might not be immediate, affecting the system's recovery time. Specific use cases, electronic fuses are well suited for certain applications but might not be the ideal choice for all scenarios. For example, applications that require rapid tripping or operate in extreme conditions might require other types of protective devices. When considering electronic fuses for an application, it's important to weigh their advantages against their limitations and assess how well they align with the specific needs and characteristics of the circuit or system. Careful evaluation of response time, maximum current, voltage ratings, and other relevant factors will help determine whether electronic fuses are the right choice for a particular application. It's important to consider the specific characteristics and requirements of the electronic circuit when choosing between traditional fuses and electronic fuses. While electronic fuses provide certain advantages in terms of convenience and automatic reset, Traditional fuses might be better suited for applications that require rapid protection against short circuits or high fault currents.